welcome back to my channel Code with Room. And in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create a simple login page using HTML, JavaScript, and Firebase authentication. Be sure to pause the video so you are able to follow through with this project. So we're going to start by creating two files. We will be creating an HTML file for the front end and a JavaScript file to handle the logic for the login. And we're going to start with our HTML file here. You guys are able to follow along or you can wait until the video is finished or you can fast forward or you can go to the link in the description to go to the GitHub to get the code yourself downloaded, do whatever edits you may want and you try the code yourself. If you want me to make another video explaining all the headings and so forth, I have no problem doing so. So for this login page, we're going to design the login form. So our form includes email and password input fields and the login button. And for this video tutorial, I've kept the styling minimal and mobile friendly. We will be using internal CSS to style the body. The background is going to be dark, the text is white, and we center everything using Flexbox. Now, normally we use an external file, like a style sheet that we'll be linking to the main page or whichever page you're going to be using it for as it relates to the styling and so forth of the website. But for this one, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to use the the, in, the internal CSS to style everything in this login page here. And just to point out, it is recommended to use an external style sheet when you're doing bigger projects. But as I said, we're keeping it simple. Everything will be done within this one HTML file here. Now, when you're setting up your Firebase as well, you're going to be using two scripts that will be at the end of the code here. You'll get this script when you authenticate your Firebase and you'll be copied and pasted into your code, basically. So ensure that you use that first part of the video. You see that little checklist that I put up there. Make sure you pause the video, complete that checklist, and then we can get your script to post in the last part of your HTML file.
we're also going to have to create another file which will load our custom JavaScript file. Um, this one will be called script.js. It's just going to be basic. So now that we've all we've finished with our HTML login form, we're going to move on to the script.js file that we'll be creating which connects it to Firebase for the authentication and handles the login process. Now the Firebase configuration, you'll get this link when you set up your Firebase on Google. We start by creating the configuration object, and this is going to be containing the keys and the identifiers that connect our app to the Firebase project, which we created in the Firebase console. So you're going to make sure on your end, you replace all of the placeholder values with the real data from Firebase. Again, you can go back to the checklist, make sure you finish all that is required there, and then all this information will be provided. You just copy and paste it into the script if you want to download it from GitHub, or you can go through it yourself. So initially within this file, we configure the Firebase, we initialize Firebase. So this is going to connect our front end to Firebase using the configuration values that we have. And we create a reference to Firebase authentication service. And this also captures the form and all the DOM elements. So we grab the form and message from the HTML using their IDs. This will also handle the form submission we add a submit event listener, which stops the page from refreshing when the form is submitted. This also goes on to get the form values, and we extract the values typed into the email and password fields which we created in our HTML file. And last but not least in the Firebase script here, we have the login logic. Now this is where the magic happens. So Firebase checks if the user credentials are valid and if the login succeeds, we show a success message in green. And if it fails, we catch the error and display the error in red. I'm gonna purposely put the incorrect information so you can see the error, what it looks like, and also then I'm gonna log in and you'll see what it looks like when we successfully log in. And that's it. You've now connected your login form to Firebase authentication using JavaScript. And in the next video, we'll take it a bit further by storing logged in user data to Firebase real-time database. Now, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow for more. And if you have any questions or any suggestions for topics that you want to see later on, do so by leaving a comment. Um, I will definitely be looking into it. I have no problem taking suggestions. That's basically what I am here for. If you want to get an input on whatever coding you think you need help with, I also have no issues doing so. And I appreciate you guys for taking the time out to watch the video.
thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video